my name is Lisa Lowthers, and um, I've worked in community development and business development for over 30 years now, which is sort of <laughs> crazy. Uh, and it's interesting that for me, I work in the business sector, but it's really about community development. So it's about helping people and communities create the life they want to have. So that's what connects me to my work. We we underestimate our own capability and we underestimate the power of my favorite quote, Margaret Mead, is that never underestimate the power of a small group of committed individuals, that a small group of individ committed individuals can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Uh, so when we talk, even when we talk about big movements, um, you know, a core group of two to seven people is at the center of any type of change in my experience. And yet we think that as an individual, we can't do anything, but we also sort of underestimate our ability as small groups of people, even a power of two. Um, Seth Godin wrote a book about the power of one. Well, maybe we need to up that since we're looking at focusing and changing communities and say the power of two, two people are a community. Uh, I also really like the video, The First Follower, on YouTube, and I use it a lot in different contexts. And a leader, the basic concept behind it, it looks like, um, it looks like to me, what Woodstock would have looked like. There's a band playing at the bottom of the hill, and there's a whole bunch of people sitting on the hill, and they're up, most of them are in shorts and t-shirts and that type of thing, sitting on blankets. And there's this one guy standing up, dancing like an idiot, and he doesn't dance well. So he's a lone leader, lone nut standing on this hill dancing. And as you watch the video, after an uncomfortable amount of time, this one person joins him and he welcomes that person and they start dancing like idiots together. And then pretty soon people start running down the hill to join this individual. And so it talks about the power of the first follower. And that's sort of what I feel like my role has been. So in a lot of cases, it's someone else's dream. It's someone else's wish. Um, but I feel like I can, by supporting them, up their ability to feel that what they're thinking about is cap they're capable of doing. So the, the power of the first follower, the person doesn't become a leader until they have a follower. So the power of the first follower is really key in anything getting going. And then the video talks about how people actually follow the follower, the first follower. So the, that core relationship between the leader and the first follower is so, so, so important. And that the community then follows the, the first follower or the combination of those two people. And without that first follower, you're just a nut on a hill dancing. So I really, I really like the concept of it. I've used it in leadership and I've used it in community development and I've used it in um, uh, building your team and I've used it in a whole bunch of different ways. And I just, I've, when I saw that video and I had done Strengths Finder before that and I've been sort of a bit disappointed in what my five strengths ended up being. I felt there should be something a little bit more dynamic. And then when I saw that video, the first follower, I thought, ah, that's what I do. I find people with a dream and help them believe they can make it happen. 